All right, I am three classes today. We're going to wrap up uh, our factoring lessons uh, and do factoring completely. Uh, basically, what we're doing today is taking everything we've done the last couple of days and put it all in one. Uh, we are going to be dealing with problems that have more than one layer of factoring. So uh, we talked about how when you factor something, you're taking a quantity and splitting it up into two smaller quantities that you'd multiply together to get the original. Um, so far, all we've been doing is taking a larger quantity and then factoring it we, with two factors. Uh, when we factor completely, our fact, we're going to have more than two factors. We're going to have three, sometimes four. Um, but what this is going to look like, uh, so let's take a number like 30. Uh, 30, it's first layer of factoring, a couple of different ways we could split this up. But 30 uh, factors into, uh, I'm going to do 2 and 15. All right, and then 15, there's that second layer of factoring where 15 factors into three times five. So we have two layers of factoring. The final factors of 30 would be two times three times five, all right? So we are gonna be, what we've done in the past is only had one layer of factoring. This one, we're gonna have these two layers, all right? So uh, we're just gonna do one example uh, of doing uh, each with uh, the major uh, methods of factoring that we've gone over in this class. First is factoring a trinomial using the X factor. Uh, let me move this. I zoom stuff in the way a little bit. Um, factor using GCF first. So we uh, we're not going to factor using um, the uh, the X factor quite yet. We want to factor a greatest factor out a greatest common factor first. Um, looking at all these things. So my first layer of factoring. Uh, 2x cubed, 16x squared, 18x. Uh, they all have a 2 in common, so I'm going to factor out a 2. And then x cubed, x squared, x, I can factor out an x, so 2x. And then would be left, you divide, that would be x squared minus 8x uh, minus 9. So this is our first layer of factoring. All right, we split up this quantity into 2x times x squared minus 8x minus 9. And then from here, I'm going to finish factoring what's in the parentheses using an x factor. So negative 9 on top, negative 8 on bottom, factor negative 9, that adds negative 8. That's going to be a uh, negative 9, positive 1. All right, and then I can put those in parentheses. Uh, x minus 9, x plus 1. Don't forget to bring down the 2x from that first layer of factoring. And there we go. That is it factored completely. So you have to do a greatest common factor first and then factor what's left over. So um, yeah, let's just do another example. Uh, difference of squares here. So factor greatest common factor first. So uh, 18x squared and two, I can factor out a two. And then I'd be left with 9x squared minus 1. And that just doesn't want to cooperate. Anyway, um, so now this is a difference of squares. 9x squared is a perfect square. If 1 is a perfect square, so the two layers of factoring are going to be 2 times uh, 3x. Oh, wait. So let me set this up. So square root of the first one, so this would be 3x in both then plus or minus, and then square root of one. So that is difference of squares. If you need a reminder of how to do any of this, check out the difference of squares lessons from, from yesterday. All right, but that is our two layers of factoring. Factor our GCF and then difference of squares. Uh, next one, that says perfect squares. This is not a perfect square, at least not yet. Uh, we need to do some factoring here. So. 12, 36, and 27. What's the largest number that those three things have in common? Again, if you need to factor everything out and spread things out and work it out. Uh, but this, the largest factor is going to be three. So then I'll have four P squared. 36 divided by three would be 12 P. And then 27 divided by three is nine. And then from here, uh, this does end up as a perfect square trinomial, but I'm going to do 
the x factor on it so it is three i'm going to multiply the four and the nine together to get the top that's three six negative 12 on bottom uh two numbers that multiply to 36 add to negative 12 that's going to be negative six negative six all right don't forget with this part since we multiplied by four we have to divide it back out reduce those fractions so it's going to be uh negative six over two that's going to be negative three sorry i said negative six over four reduce it it becomes negative three over two uh same thing over here negative three over two and then i can put those in the parentheses so it's going to be p P, so the two, the two's go in front, the bottom numbers in those fractions go in front, and then it's gonna be minus three. Uh, don't forget to bring down the three from the original, our first layer of factoring. Uh, and then the last part here is uh, squish those together since they are identical factors, two P minus three, uh, we're gonna make it two P minus three. Sorry. All right, uh, one more example, uh, 375x cubed plus three. <clears throat> so factor GCF first. So this is three and 375. You can check that on your calculator, but 375 is definitely divisible by three. Uh, so that's gonna be 375 divided by three is 125. X cubed plus three divided by three is one. So that's our first layer of factoring. Um, so uh, this is a difference of cubes. So uh, this is a cubed. Excuse me, I said difference of cubes. This is a sum. That's definitely a plus. But anyway, uh, a cubed is 125 x cubed. Uh, b cubed is um, 1. So if a cubed is 125x cubed, that means a is going to be 5x, and b is going to be 1. And then I need to use the pattern. So I'm going to write the pattern over here on this side. So uh, the a cubed plus b cubed factors into a plus b times a squared minus a times b plus b squared. So here I'm going to fill in the blanks there. So it's going to be a plus b. I'm going to make this a square bracket real quick. Uh, then it's going to be a squared plus a times b plus b squared. And so all I'm doing now is I'm going to replace all these A's and B's here, down here with our A and B. So it'll be A is here, and A here, and A here. And then uh, B is one, one, one. Multiply that out. So uh, 5X plus one, that doesn't simplify. 5X squared, 5 squared is 25 will be x squared. 5x times 1 is 5x plus 1 squared is 1. And then don't forget, we still have this 3 here. Bring it down and include that in our factors. And look at that. We are done. All right. We'll see you next time when we talk about uh, polynomial long division. Fun times. <laughs>